Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you how to complete your own FICO exam. Hey guys, today we're going to be completing our own FICO exam. This is not a substitute for visiting a veterinarian, however this will give you a cause to then go there. So what you're going to need to complete this is fecal fluid, you're going to need a microscope, some slides, and a fecal test. All of these items were provided by Stargazer Exotics and a link to this exact kit is in the description of this video. These fecal float test kits are one-time use. You don't want to be testing out different poops um, in the same container because then you won't know if something was in a different test sample before that you didn't catch. So only use these once. But what you're going to want to do is crack it open and grab this insert. Then what you're going to want to do is Make sure you find a fresh poop. This poop right here was taken in last night, guaranteed it's still wet. So you're gonna take the tip of your float test and put it right into the poop and try to scoop it up in there, just like that. Then what you're gonna do is put it back into your container. So once you have your sample, what you're gonna to want to do is look for the fill line the fill line is right here. The fill line is around right here. So you're going to want to fill it slowly only to that line. And then what you're going to want to do is agitate this left and right, left and right for about 30 seconds. Don't shake these containers because uh, you'll get poop all over your fingers. So once it's notable that it's actually dissolved into the water, what you're going to want to do is get a little bit more fecal fluid and fill it all the way. Right to the tip like that. Now, I like to let it sit for a little bit so that it can allow some of um, the material to float to the top. But you want just enough so that it has that bubble so that um, it does not overfill, but it's easy for you to get it onto your slide. Now you're going to get your slide cover, which you can't see here and just place it over the top. So you're going to let this sit for about 12 to 15 minutes. Allowing this to sit for 15 minutes allows the particulates to float to the top and attach itself to the slide cover. After the time is up, gently lift the slide cover and slip it off. Make sure you hold it level and you place it onto your slide like so. So now what you're going to want to do is move this out of the way, get your microscope. So what you're going to want to do is turn on the light and extend the zoom on the side here until it focuses in place. This is a focus ring here as well. 
just so that you can see exactly what's currently down there. Once it's focused, slowly move the slide side to side and up and down, stopping briefly each time to inspect the view. Through the microscope, this is what you're going to see. So what you see there is just a little bit of particulate. It's not actually any type of bacteria. There's just some threads that got caught. So as you can tell, this fecal exam is okay. Rule of thumb for medicating your animals, if there are more ova than you can count in one view of sl the slide, your animal should be medicated. If you can count them easily and they are very sparsely placed all over the slide, there is no need to medicate. However, make sure that you visit a veterinarian if this is the case. If you see anything, um, I would recommend going to a vet. This is not a replacement for a vet. If your animal looks sick or feels sick, you should still bring them to a vet. This is just a, another thing that you can do to then you know, confirm that it's actually needed. But there you have it. That's how you perform your own fecal exam. Right now what I'm going to show you is the different images of reptilian parasites so that it'll be easy for you to identify them.